Hello, and welcome to Terraria, or Terraria, I'm not quite sure. I am your host, Rick Johnson, and today we are going to delve deep into the land known as Terraria. And we're going to find stuff, so if you are a... This is a professional playthrough, and if you don't know what you're doing, you should not watch this video. This is for experienced players only. And if, you, if you've if you never played this game before, or if you've only played it for at least a minimum of 20 hours, then you should still look away, because this is for people who have played it for at least a month and a half in advance. So, just kidding. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know why I said that right there. What's up, my nuggets? Uh, this is Mr. Phantasmo, actually. Let me, uh, you know, sometimes my alter ego kicks in, but this is me. This is, this is the guy that you know and love, and you love to hate. And this is this is my this is my game. I actually made this. It's a little. I called it Terraria, or Terraria. I don't know. I just made a word that I don't really know how to say, and then I just call it that. So, um, basically, I'm just going to show you this game that I made, and we can uh, we can see for ourselves if we like it or not. Um, that's a joke as well. Um, I should just probably stop with the not funny jokes. Um, this is a game that I've been hearing about lately. I've heard. A lot of buzz about so you know I'm just gonna play it I'm just gonna play it for you guys and if you like it cool if not then that sucks and you probably won't watch it but is that it I'm pretty sure that's an egg not a moon so we're just I should probably just jump right in and uh, you know create a create a character really hmm okay well well here we're gonna just go ahead and create a, a character um, you can actually switch his hairstyle so we can have uh, Gandalf. We can play as Gandalf. Wow. Alright, I think I should. Well, let me. Let me just see what we have. Oh, that was a girl, I think. Okay. Whoa. I don't know what's more. What's better. Ooh. An afro. Nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna go with. Uh, where is it? Oh, shoot. I missed it. Can you go back? No. Alright, I think I'm gonna go with that. Yes. Okay, uh, you can change the color of the hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it black ish. Uh, okay, I can't. It's restricting me on my, my color palette, so. Alright, that's, that's good. That's good. I don't know why I wanna have a black mohawk, but I do, so. Now we're gonna go with the eyes. What? Are you serious? I don't think you can change. Why did my hair color just change? I don't even know. Okay, skin. Uh, wow. Okay, well, actually, we're gonna be a zombie, so we'll go back to zombie. Maybe we should get a better zombie hairstyle, like that. That looks really great. Um, hmm. Is, are zombies bald? Like, do they have? I think some bald zombies have hair. Uh, zombie Gandalf. I don't know. Maybe we should just maybe we should just uh, make his hair like that. That's a good zombie hair. It's all uh, grimy and weird colored. Okay, uh, skin already did that. Clothes. I'm not. You know what? I'm just. I just really want to play this game. Like I thought it was just gonna throw me in with a random character. Enter character name. Well, this would be. Uh, I think I should just name it after myself and not get too carried away with it. And, uh, okay, so now we have this, and we have to create a world as well. Choose world size, large, obviously, large and in charge. Enter world name, world one. Well, that sounds good. Maybe, no, maybe we should name it, uh, I don't even know. Uh, the land of Sangria. Don't ask me why, but... That's how the land of Sangria. So if you ever want to come to the land of Sangria, just you know what to do. Because I don't. Okay, accept. And okay, I think it's building the land. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys my background experience with Terraria. Besides making the game, um, I have no experience with it whatsoever. And I didn't make the game. So basically, I, I, I watched like I, I watched the trailer. That's my experience on Terraria. So... Um, I, and I've, in the trailer, a lot of people in the comment section were comparing it to Minecraft, which, I mean, I guess I can see it being compared to Minecraft, but I don't see it being 
uh, stated as a ripoff of Minecraft because I mean that's just I don't know when people say that it's just kind of uh, it's kind of stupid it's kind of a stupid uh, statement in, in my opinion um, the land of sangria okay now we have to rebuild it was I supposed to click that I don't know but um, yeah I, I mean saying Minecraft this ripped off Minecraft is saying like every Minecraft ripped off Pong I mean you could trace every game back to Pong if you really want to so I mean, that's just kind of a weird analogy, but that's how I think of it. They're just expanding on an idea that was fun, so, I mean, if it's fun to play, why would you say anything about it? Okay, and we're in the land, and here's a human, so I should probably go eat this guy. Um, eat. Oh, his name's Guide. Hi, Guide. Um, well, oh my god, what the heck is that? Okay, Flubber over there. I don't know if this is a friendly Flubber, but I'm guessing it's probably not. Oh, watch out, Guide. I already have a... I already have a pickaxe. You start out with a... Oh, got him. Oh my gosh. This guy is gonna die. I think my mission is to... Oh, watch out, man! Seriously. I'm trying to... Oh no, they're killing me. Alright, guide. Wow. This is intense. This is just throwing me right into the action. Okay, so you start out with a... A, a copper pickaxe and a copper axe. A stone block and four gels. So that's your starting... That's your starting lineup. This is my life. Oh, gosh! Get away from him! Guide, you must teach me your knowledge. Can you not talk to him? He still has 250 out of 250 health. Maybe you have to, like, lead him somewhere. I feel like he's drunk, though, because he was just going that way, and now he's going this way. Guide, speak your wisdom to me. Come on, I'll listen, I promise. I know I'm a zombie and I'm scary, but you have to treat me like a human. Alright, we don't need this guide. We don't need this guide. Alright, uh, let's chop down some trees. I should probably use my axe. Yeah, let's get it. Let's get it right at the trunk. Bam. Alright, so this this is... Oh my gosh, whoa! Did you see that? That was majestic if I ever saw a, anything majestic. Oh, watch out! I don't think this guy can be hurt. I think he's just pulling my leg. Can you be hurt? Can you talk or something? Oh, you right click. Right click. I am here to give you advice on what to do next. It is recommended that you talk with me anytime you get stuck. Well, I'm not stuck yet, so I'll talk to you later, alright? I'm just gonna chop down some trees. I'm just gonna, you know, it's called the lumber... Wow, that is awesome. The way they did this tree is awesome. It's not it's not floating trees, even though floating trees are awesome too, but... Exploding trees and floating trees? I think this does... Yeah. And this does... Yeah, okay, so the... Oh, God, get away from me. The pickaxe does more damage. Uh, two things, then the... Can you take these? No, they're just decoration. Okay, that sucks. But, okay. Um, actually, yeah, I should probably talk to him. I'm stuck, help me. You can use your pickaxe to dig through dirt and your axe to chop down trees. Just place your cursor over the tile and click. Okay, so basically... <clears throat> I guess you don't need a shovel, then. You just... Ha, watch this. You just go ahead and pick your spot. Good. I'm glad you picked your spot. This is what I think of you, guide. You just need to... No! No, 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 no. Alright, I don't think this guide's gonna go for it. Now I should probably keep him around. What is this? Stone? Yeah, stone block. I should probably keep this guide around if I want to, uh... acquire his knowledge. I mean, I am a zombie, so I guess I could just eat his brain and hope I get all of his knowledge that way, but that's kind of risky. Oh god, he turned into a flubber. Get away from me. Oh. oh my gosh, it's really giving me some. Alright, wait, come back here, guide. I don't know what to do now. I chopped down some trees and I dug some dirt. Is there something I can help you with? Yes. If you want to survive, you will need to create weapons and shelter. Ooh, start by chopping down trees and gathering wood. Alright. Uh, I have 44 wood, but maybe I should get some more. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! This guy is just, like, invincible. Oh, God. I'm not invincible, however. Alright. Not invisible, invincible. There's a difference. I hope you know. Alright, wow, that is just... I can't get over how crazy that tree looks when you chop it down. Alright. Get this guy. These things are everywhere. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Alright. Whoa! Did I just chop down a sunflower? I did. I have seven sunflowers. How did I get seven? Alright, 
Wait, tell me more, tell me more. I have wood. Oh, what? I have wood. Press escape to access your crafting menu. When you have enough wood, create a workbench. This will allow you to create more complicated things as long as you are standing close to it. Cool. Alright. Escape? Really? That seems like an awkward key. Wait, hold on. First I have to make a house, right? Or do I? I think so. Okay. Um... Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Wait. Guide. Can you just make a house for me? I really don't... We should probably level up the land. If there's one thing I know about building houses... Okay, so you can dig up the sunflowers. You just need to dig the dirt out from underneath it. Alright. Get away from here. I'm building a house. Alright. Wow, this is gonna be a humongous house. Whoa! Get away! Get away! Get away! Can you hit him with dirt? I wonder. Let's go find a slime and try to kill it with dirt. 